What's up, everybody? It's Fruit Punch Saber here, and I'm here with another Grand Blue Fantasy versus video. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm apologizing on behalf of the freaking outrageous decision by Marvelous. Wow. Okay, okay. So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the EU release date for Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, right? In my other video, I did talk about the Steam version that comes out earlier, weeks earlier, than the EU release date. So, I'm going to go ahead and read the official tweets. Power, skill, spirit climb. As we finally, 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 they criticize finally that Grand Blue Fantasy Versus will launch physically and digitally on 27 March 2020 for the PlayStation 4 within Europe and Australia. Right, full details to give you a little bit of link. I'll click that later. Um, we go ahead and just do this real quick. Boom. Makes it look better. For me. Uh, and then they retweeted something again. Right? Or they replied to their own tweet saying, We will also. We would also like to provide an important product update on our physical premium edition on Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, which was to be a marvelous game store exclusive within Europe. Exclusive. Sadly, due to time constraints and production delays, this edition has now been canceled. It's canceled. Mmm. Okay. And let's read this little screenshot of this. This apology, this is this is their apology. In order to ensure a timely release of Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, we have made the difficult decision to cancel the physical premium edition. The reason for this cancellation is due to ongoing time constraints and production issue with the physical premium edition. We know that a lot of Grand Blue Fantasy fans are eager for this physical premium edition, and as fans themselves, it is deep. It is with deep regret that we will not be able to produce this edition for Europe. We would like to apologize to those affected and we thank you for your continued support with Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. So the premium edition is no no, but you can still get a physical edition, it seems. You just can't get the premium edition, which is with the art book, the album, and the game, and Vern adds, I don't know if you still have to get a premium edition to get that but still no more premium edition the physical edition you can still buy the premium edition seems like digitally but you cannot buy the physical edition of it dang that sucks wow and then everyone's like fuck <laughs> oh damn what the fuck Of pissed off people, dude. That's kind of, in my opinion, that kind of hurts Grand Blue Fantasy sales. I'm like, damn, because I remember in an interview, um, FKHR, I think that's how you say it. So, um, he's like the director of side games and stuff, right? So, he said in an interview that he wanted Grand Blue Fantasy Versus to be a global release. But then he handed it off to Xseed and Marvelous. Xseed's the America, right? Marketing, whatever you want to call it, localization. And Marvelous is the EU localization team. And they're like partnered together. So he got those people to help him out. And Xseed delayed it for a month. I don't know why. It can't be the English dub. Because the English dub was in a Hong Kong release. So I don't know why. And they never told us why it's been delayed for a month. It's still hush mouth about it. So I'm like, God damn it. All right. And Marvelous delayed it like two months. Ooh. Oh my God. That's the end of March. So EU doesn't get their game till two months, basically. Like. The entire March and entire February. Two months later. And 
They can't even get a premium physical edition from their store. It's been canceled. Let's go ahead and click this link and see what pops up. So, here we go. Australia and Europe. Let's talk about the digital edition. Of course, you get a code, the serial code. But you can't get those on Steam because there's some theories. Like, people might buy the game, just return it. And it's harder to return stuff on PSN. In fact, PSN might even ban you trying to return it. I don't know, that's what I heard. But I do know it is pretty hard to return stuff on PSN. I never did it before. <laughs> so, I don't really know. Physical edition. Physical premium edition. Will be available. It's a digital premium edition. So there is no physical premium edition. It's final, final, final. Mm, dang, okay. Let's go to this. This is the Marvelous Store. You can put the list of websites that you could pre-order from. And that's it. I never really went to the Marvelous Store before. Where's Spam Blue? Do they let you buy it? No, they give you links. Okay. Weird. <laughs> All right. Weird. So that is it for you EU fans out there that want Grand Blue Fantasy versus. Oh, dude. If you're gonna wait, March 27th. I would have just wait till it goes on sale. Honestly, two months after the game been officially released. That's like after final round two. That's like after the first tournament of the world tour. So EU's behind on the world tour. The world tour will be already started. Their esports world tour. Wow, I'll be furious. I'll be so furious if I lived in EU and if I was a competitive player at that too, right? If I was an esports competitive player and play anime <laughs> fighting games, right? And I heard this is gonna be released on the 27th for Europe. I'll write a very angry, I don't know, email to Marvelous, side games, somebody and be like, what the hell? Right? How am I supposed to compete if the game's not even out yet? And then isn't like the first uh, World Tour was supposed to be in like in Europe or something, but then it got canceled because of the coronavirus, unfortunately. So the first official World Tour tournament is now final round, which comes out uh, March 19th or March 20th, one of those dates. But that is weeks before the EU release. Mm. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that up. EU is done. I don't know how many people is actually going to buy the EU release date. You already have your option, right? You can just create any account, Hong Kong account. You could in a Amazon. It's right now. I don't know how long it's going to be delivered though, because it's overseas. You can buy and play Asia, right? Get the sub version, physical edition if you want that. Dude, there's so many other options. Damn, they really killed the EU sales. That sucks. I'm pretty disappointed. It's been a rough start for Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, especially for, well, not for the APAC version, Japan. Japan, the APAC, it's been a really wonderful start for them, right? Everyone loved the game, everyone's playing it, but then the coronavirus kind of fucked over the offline scene, so some of the gatherings got canceled and some of the events yeah, it's been a rough start actually for everyone, unfortunately. But hopefully it get better throughout the year, and then hopefully they do a lot better job when season two comes out, right? So everyone should have the game, and hopefully everyone gets the same amount of update at the same time, and they won't pull a Persona on us, right? Or they update Persona in like Japan or arcades. And then they never update the console version for so long that people just quit playing the game. 
they better not do that. I hope they they keep things universal, right? And that's all I hope. So uh, moving forward, after everyone got their game, and hopefully at least by June or July, that's probably when Evil comes out. Everyone's pretty much at. All right, we're here. We all meet here, right? I might have been here like 10 months earlier than your ass, but we're here. So let's go move one step at a time together. I hope that's the plan. I hope there are no more delays. Anyway, yep, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up. I uh, appreciate you guys watching the video. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and make more Grand Blue Fantasy Versus updates in the future. And I'm also going to make some other uh, video game related news too. And let's play too, of course. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and peace out. Laters. Bye.